This is Alamarina Dichotoma, aka the Japanese rhinoceros beetle, aka the Kabutomushi. Kabuto meaning helmet, specifically referring to that of a samurai. Yeah, I think it checks out. And mushi meaning bug. As with most beetles, these are sexually dimorphic, which means males and females show different characteristics, and it's especially easy to tell which is which. At least, as an adult. Male, female. Very easy to tell, right? The male has a giant head horn with little branches in the end, which frankly look like Shrek ears to me, and a little hook of a horn at the top. On top of that, they're typically much larger. Females, on the other hand, are free of horns, naked, but not afraid. Females have no need for horns as males use them to compete for the said females. How about a quick quiz? Is this a female or a male? How about this one? The answer will be revealed later in this video. These beautiful beetles can of course be found on the main islands of Japan and the Ryukyu Islands. However, you can find this species in other places like the Korean Peninsula, Eastern China, and Taiwan. Specific habitats for these critters include montane, broadleafed forest, and tropical or subtropical climates. Sometimes you can get really lucky and find them right outside of a convenience store. <laughs> the Kabuto machine lives majority of its lifetime underground, secluded from the heated geopolitics above. The world War <sighs> of the Ants. Anyway, here's an egg. We'll call it Jimmy. Jimbo here will remain an egg for two weeks and then will emerge as a larva near the start of fall. Larva Jim will squirm around in the moist dirt and feed on hummus the tasty organic parts of soil for several weeks until it grows to become the third instar. Instars are just developmental stage of insects. Depending on the species, it could have several, but in this particular beetle, there is three. It's about winter now. The world above is cold, frigid, desolate, beautiful. But the underground hasn't changed much, and Jimbo will continue to consume under the comforts of dirt for about another eight months, till it begins its next phase, the pre-pupa. It's now moments from summer, and Jimmy is now preparing to pupate. His skin has changed a little yellow, and not from jaundice. And I believe it's finally time to reveal the answer to the previous quiz. If you guessed the first was female and the second was male, you are correct. Congratulations. If you didn't, you'll have to like, comment, and subscribe to rectify. Now, there are two ways to tell a difference. First, we look at its posterior and search for a V or the herald's organ if you want to learn more. If it has a V, it's a male. If not, then it's not a male. Quite simple. Male, female. Male, female. Excellent. Now we can all identify the sex of this beetle a week before it gets obvious from the pupa. Speaking of which, it's summer now and it's much too hot and humid for me to function outside, but the beetle is pupating in the nice cool ground. Jimmy is undergoing miraculous changes in its body. It's a larva, then it's soup. Then two weeks later, it's a full grown adult. The beetle emerges hungry and horny eager to find a meal and a mate. You know, eat your green vegetables. That's what my mom is always saying. Adult Kabutomushi will feed on sap, fruit, or really anything that has sugar. In captivity, owners will typically feed it something called beetle jelly. I personally gave mine a brown sugar flavored one and sometimes cut up fruits. We've mentioned its horns earlier, and now it's time to talk about them. Although quite menacing, these horns are only used offensively against other males. They're quite docile when you handle them carefully. These beetles are territorial and would fight other males for potential mates by flinging them off their feet. They use their horns as a sort of lever to hook their opponent's horns or underside to give a mighty fling. Their fights are quick, but explosive. Because of their tough exoskeleton, they're only sometimes injured from these fights. Perhaps mostly just their pride. When a male Kabutomushi is successful in finding a mate, he mounts, they mate, and the male, unfortunately, doesn't have much more time to live. Adults only live for two to three months with males being in the shorter end while females live a little bit longer only falling after they've laid their eggs. 
Despite their short-lived aesthetic adult life, Kabutomashi has inserted itself strongly in Japanese pop culture. Japanese rhinoceros beetle is everywhere in Japanese media, ranging from anime to video games, even squirming itself in the ubiquitous vending machines, as a toy at least. These beetles are very popular as pets amongst Japanese children, and a common pastime during the summer is to hunt these beautiful creatures. Although most like to personally catch their beetle as a rite of passage to become a rifle master, nowadays they're readily sold in pet stores for a pair. They're incredibly easy to care for, as you can see in another video, and serves to be a great starter pet for young Japanese boys and girls. Although you may not be able to walk them like dogs, you can certainly pit them against each other. Young kids like to simulate Pokemon-esque battles with their beetles and this captivation of fights led to the creation of the Kabutomashi Sumo Competition. It's a tournament for elementary school students to engage more with their insects and compete in several events. Such include, of course, sumo wrestling, weight pulling to compare strength, and it seems to require some urging on the owner's end. A little bit of the, little bit of the butt prods, bouldering. How quickly one can climb a wall again with a little bit of butt poking. There's no entrance fee for this event, and it's all done for fun and education. But of course, with all things competitive, even with a touch of innocence, there is a dark side. The concept is nothing new. There are chicken fights. Siamese fighting fish, and most similar to our case, crickets. But these are all topics for another video. Although gambling is strictly forbidden in Japan, there are whispers of such gambling rings in the Ryukyu Islands. Now I'll be honest, I couldn't find it in primary sources, probably because it's illegal, so take it with a grain of salt. But for a real world example, Thailand has been a host to rhinoceros beetle fights with plenty of good old gambling. Maybe not good. But anyway, one Japanese blogger posted about this and described it similar to the popular anime, Kaiji. <laughs> Perhaps not the best subject to end on, but it's amazing how prevalent rhinoceros beetles are in Japanese culture. It's a breath of fresh air to see people embrace insects as they are such a significant part of this earth and it's awesome to see such enthusiasm on such a beautiful creature. Although the Kabutomashi has captivated the nation of Japan, there are many more amazing beetles to cover on this channel so if you like this video please subscribe, like, and comment down below which beetle you want me to review and talk about next. I've got a couple of mines such as the Rainbow Stag or perhaps keep on course with another horned critter. Anyway. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video.